Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In this video, I will show you how to communicate QGIS Antune C24-R2 card with a barcode scanner or any of the scanners. So this program is only for the read purpose. So let's get started. So I have this program here. First, let's open the sorry, parameters, PLC parameters. So I have used the PLC here, that is QPLC on slot 0 or number 1 I have used intelligent function intelligent module that is QGIS n 2 c 24 and card dash R2 so it's consumed 32 bits so here you can see the switch setting I will describe you how this can be changed over the effect it has on the configuration of your card so and this first check and I have this on the slot 0, say 0, 0, 0, 0. I have switch setting. So the switch setting you have seen in PLC parameter is uh, from this area. So you can use in channel 1 and channel 2. There are two channels. A data parity is 8, the parity bit is none, even parity or parity is odd, stop bit is 1. So all the setting, boundary settings also here. Yeah. And the protocol which you are using. So there are um, several protocols. See, so I am using non-procedural protocol. Now you can click OK. If uh, okay, this is only the switch setting. Now let's come to the program section. So this is the input for a card ready signal. That is for QGIS and C twenty four dash R two card. This is the ready signal. I have used two instruction. H zero is for the slot number. That is slot number 0 now H0 A4 is the buffer address so let's see what 0 A4 stands for it is showing that string length I have comment, used comment here so it's 0 A4 so 0 A4 is for channel number one that is receive data count destination okay so i have used i think uh, 30 data so when i will receive the so i have used 30 data here count destination is 30 now uh, again the two instruction that is for the end character that can be cr plus lf or only cr only an LF so it depends upon the barcode scanner setting 0 5 is receive complete code destination that is CR is for is 0 D and LF is E0A so you can use CR plus LF if you are using CR plus LF then you will use 0 D 0 A if you are only using CR then it is 0 D and if you are only using LF then it's 0 A so it depends only on your a barcode scanner setting now again two instruction is used for byte unit selection again two instruction h0 is the buffer sorry this uh, slot number that is and the h96 is buffer address so h96 is for h96 is for word oblique byte unit destination so i'm using byte unit so i have used one here This is the receive area from where in which area I want to receive the data coming from barcode scanner or any other scanner you are using. So X1 is the card ready signal, X3 is reception data uh, request, or you can say when the data is coming to the card and card, so this X3 will turn on. So the from instruction is used so because I want to read the data from the uh, card into the PLC. So H0 is again the same. H600 is a buffer. So let's see what H600 is. So 600. Okay. This is 600. First channel number one. That is receive count data counts. So 
in this case when you receive the data suppose it's 8 length the length is 8 so it will show 8 and 601 see you can see 601 is here from 601 you will receive the data which is the actual the data which you want so s600 will move to 200 and x600 to 619 will move to D200 to D219 so basically from D201 you will receive the data ok so 2000 uh, sorry D201 to 219 you will receive the data when this turns on the, you will uh, you can uh, you have on this bit so in this case I am using uh, M5 here so this M5 I have used two instruction and it will clear the received data area that is as 600 to as 619 it will clear all the area to 0 it will move the value to 0 in all this uh, as 601 to 619 so this is all what you require to uh, get the data from barcode scanner or any other scanners so this only is for the read purpose you cannot write any uh, data if you are using printer or something so this is for reads only so if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you